Hey guys, I made it back. I feel like I can't talk too loud because the baby's asleep. <laughs> the new baby? Mm -hmm. She's over there in her crate sleeping. So I thought I'd jump on and do my uh, video for Sharon, who asked to see the details of Chester. The Luan Skull by Doris Moyers Hornbogen. Yes, this precious boy who weighs a ton. Hopefully my back can take all this. All right, so we're going to also do theme Thursday. So to start theme Thursday, when you go camping, you have a picnic, right? Well, to have a picnic, you have to have a quilt to lay out on the ground to have a picnic. So we're gonna have a quilt. <laughs> we're gonna have a quilt. This is our camping quilt. Okay. And oh, I was gonna show you, I got this basket at the Dollar Tree. I think it was like $3, but it's big. It's big enough to hold your reborn. So if you need to wrap them up and store them, look how easy they fit in there. Look how much room. See how he fits in there? His hat fell over his eyeballs. Whoops, he's sliding down, but <laughs> there he goes. Whoop, there's lots of space in there. So I love this little basket. Look, there went your hat. Come here, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much you weigh. I don't know how much you weigh. All right, we'll just start by getting his clothes off. Oh. So Felix is having quite a time getting used to the puppy. He brought him in here and set him on the bed and told him she can't get up here to get you. Be all right. He's acting all tippy toeing and skittish. Skittish. Scarred cat. Scarred a cat. <laughs> He's a scaredy cat. Hey, you're looking right at me. This little baby looks right at me. Boy, I'm glad I went and got socks. He didn't have socks on. He didn't have any socks on. No, you didn't. You don't have any socks on. No, you don't. You don't have any socks on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I just got two hours of sleep. Yippee. And then the little toot crawls back up there and goes back to bed. So I'm wondering, hmm, if she took a little hour cat nap, well, actually two hour nap because I was deleting emails and chasing bunny trails and then decided to lay down. And the next, and it was a while and I finally heard her bark and I was like, oh, I'm getting up, I'm coming. So I get up and I didn't see her right away. So, Maggie, where are you at? When she comes around the corner. I mean, you know, from the bathroom. <clears throat> I don't know what she's doing. I don't know how long she was awake before uh, she barked. <laughs> she uh, peed on the pee pads. She's doing real good at pottying on the pee pads. Doing great. And the funny thing is, let me tell you about that. Okay, so the first day I get her, she did, she does great, right? She gives it, goes on the potty pads. Well, the next day, day two, I'm got my eyes on her the whole time, making sure you know I'm not going to be have any accidents, honey. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness. I guess since I was like at her heels, um, she wouldn't pee on that pad. I would catch her pot in on the carpet, pick her up, and rush her over to the pee pad, and she'd lock it up, or she'd quit right away and wagging her tail, and we did that all day yesterday, but today, I ignored her, didn't, didn't tell her to go to the potty on the paper or nothing, and she ain't had an accident today. I don't get it. <laughs> Now she's peeking at me. She's awake. I had a feeling she was gonna wake up. Look at you, got a Mickey Mouse diaper on. I don't think I've even taken you down this far. <laughs> I'm gonna take all your clothes off. Take 
how you close off. Yeah. Get all your toes off. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we'll do theme Thursday, which is going camping, right? So we got our blanket for our picnic. And I got this little outfit, which is this cute little onesie that has, a, it looks like a maroon shirt with a thermal underneath, but it's not, it's all one piece. It's long sleeves though. And it's got the cutest little faces. It's got an owl face and it looks like a bear, bear face maybe? Is this a bear? I don't know. Yep, a bear, see? Rawr. You lift the little flap up and it says rawr. And it's got little green pine trees imprinted on it. And then another a little patch thing that lifts up. It's a blue bear. It says, Grrr. and well, there's some acorns with some leaves, and I'm not real sure what that is. Oh, a deer. <laughs> Funny looking deer, but that's a deer. And then, what is this? Is that another bear? That's a funny looking bear, but it's got fish in his mouth. Can you see that? kind of hard to see, isn't it? And I guess they're all bears, and then there's another little tree. All right, I can't lean over like that. All right, so we got that onesie, and I'm using zero to three months because newborn I thought might be too small, so I grabbed zero to three. And then I found these cute little socks. Looks like gray socks with black toe with, um, looks like the little face of a raccoon. See, little mask face. And then I just got these little khaki pants with oh, real pockets. Faux pockets in the back. And a real button and fly. No zipper, but <laughs> it opens. Okay, that's old maybe. And then of course you have to have your hiking boots. So he's got his little boots. Alright, so that's what we're gonna put on him. Okay, well there my iPad went down. And while we're doing this, I want to do Mia's tag. I've been wanting to do Mia's tag. I told her I was gonna do it. So I'm hoping to get all those questions answered before baby hollers over there. Oh, she keeps staring at me. <laughs> all right, so let's start out with some little details here. And his paint job. Uh-oh. I hear my phone. No, that's not my phone. I don't know what I hear. Ding. Text message. There's his painting. And his ears. He's got these beautiful blue eyes. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, there they go. And the thing about, I like about her kit here is I think his feet and hands are so realistic. This baby is made so heavy. I may have to bring the camera down. I don't think I can keep holding him up there. <laughs> that is just too heavy. Let me just bring this down. All right. The hands have all this all these nooks and crannies and wrinkles and um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like it's not the fingers aren't like real s smooth. You see how that's got lumps and stuff. I mean. It's not big lumps or anything, but it's like real fingers, you know? They're not like perfectly smooth. See how that is right there? And this one, this one, and then the, um, let's see. Hold it this way so you can see the inside of his hand. Without a shadow just looks so realistic inside. And this is uh, 
who did I say painted this? Denton, Denton, Megan Denton, yes. Uh, cradles in the country, country cradles or something like that. <laughs> But yeah, his hands, I think, are molded so realistic. Not like any of the other babies I have. And then the feet too. Let me see. style. Texture is very nice. Not rough. Not super smooth. There's his foot. Let me see how she sculpted the feet. That's pretty cool. Alright. And that's him. And this is our Chester. It's our Chester. You can look at the camera. There you go. All right. Got that done. I was baby staring at me. I don't know how much longer I'll get. <laughs> I just, okay, I saw the text message. It was from um, the lady I, I got the puppy from. It says, asking how the baby did today. Huh. thought it was nice of her to keep track. That's sweet. It's about an hour's drive from here go get her all right we gotta have the onesie first which i'm bad when i think shirt and pants i put my pants on first and then i'm just have to take them back off to put the onesie back on duh all right so let's see here got him detailed out so let me pull up these questions um Okay, well, hopefully it'll stay up long enough. Okay, so Mia's tag <clears throat> is a little me tag. Number one, were you born an old soul or young, wild, and free? I was born young, wild, and free. Um, an old soul? I'm not real sure what the description of an old soul is. Um, I don't think I've ever been an old soul. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know. I think I need a description of what an old soul is. Um, I wasn't particularly uh I don't know, real responsible, and I mean, I always held a job, always paid my bills, blah, 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 but, uh, shoot, I don't know how to, uh, I always want to play, I always want to goof off, um, didn't like being serious, that's what I would think in old souls, very serious, my mom was an old soul, she was very serious. At least in my eyes, you know. <laughs> Which, funny now. Man, I look back now. Do y'all do this? You look back and you think, I remember when my mom was this age. I just can't imagine her feeling the way, I mean, mentally, I guess. Feeling about life and things, you know. The way I do now. I mean, I always thought, oh, my mom's so old and mature and... <laughs> <laughs> um, and I could never see myself that way. You know, it would look better, navy, uh, yeah, navy pants. I don't think I have any navy pants. I think I just, I didn't want to buy any navy pants. You know, that's kind of scary. I don't want to put, well, I guess I could have put some tights on, huh? I did have some white leggings, but I thought, no, I'm not putting white leggings on this boy. This little guy is just too old boy. I can't put leggings on this little guy. We're going to put some pants. Yeah, we're going to put your pants on. Yes, we'll put your pants on. 
And this little guy, when he's looking right at, he looks right at you. I mean, right there, he's looking right at me. Yep. All right, these pants are a little long. But that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Hey, that looks cute. <laughs> you going camping, Chester? Huh? Are you going camping? Yeah. We gotta go get Charlie. Where's Char? Oh, these shoes are way too big. Oh my goodness! What size are these shoes? What is this? Zero to three. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so we got big shoes. We got big shoes and big pants. <laughs> They'll probably fall off when I pick him up. Oh my goodness! I didn't realize they were that big. <laughs> I haven't put shoes on a baby. I've decided that I don't think I'm real fond of shoes on the little babies. I don't mind them on my toddlers, but I think I'm going to get rid of all my little shoes and go to booties. Booties and socks. I just, I don't know. Babies, unless they're going dressed up for picture picture day for a few minutes. I just don't like shoes on a little baby. That looks funny. You see that? That looks funny. Now, let me pick him up so you can see all of it now. There you go. There he is. There he is. Why do y'all seem so far away? I don't think this zooms in. Let me see. No, I've tried it before. This does not zoom in. Mm -mm. And if I'm too scared to push the button, I forgot what happens, but I know it doesn't zoom. I've already tried that. No, nope, that didn't work either. Well, I'll just bring him down here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hang on, we're going for a ride. There he is. Say hello. Hi. Hi, Nikki's. <laughs> That's Chester. Okay, gee, all right. You can look at him while I answer the questions. I didn't get those answered, did I? <laughs> we only got one. All right. Number two, were you a city kid or, let me put it over here so I can turn my mouth the right way. All right, come up there, make sure you can hear me. Okay, were you a city kid or a country bumpkin? Includes the suburbs. Uh, I'm a suburbs, so, so country bumpkin is suburbs. I was definitely country bumpkin. Um, all the way, all the way, I think. Let's see, I was born in Amarillo, Texas. And we lived in two different places there until I was in second grade. And in second grade, we moved to Northern California. Yeah, how do you get from Amarillo, Texas to Northern California? <laughs> My dad was in the Air Force. He had an accident um, while he was uh, working at the base and burned 60% uh, of his body. He was in the hospital six months or 30%. Heck, I don't remember. Anyway, he still has scars and stuff. Anyway, he got out. Uh, he was, you know, got out of the, the Air Force and used the skills that he learned there, which was microbiology. He went to school for uh, a long time, five years, I think, because <laughs> it was night school, because he had to keep me during the day. Anyway, so second grade, I started third grade in California, and we did live in the city, actually, in third grade, fourth grade, Mr. McCray, okay, third and fourth grade, two years. So I stayed in the city, I guess Amarillo was, heck, I don't remember, I was too little. I, was, I can't really remember. I can picture the school in second grade, but I really don't remember much, much about that. I can't remember that far. Some people can, I can't, my husband can. Okay, so third grade and fourth grade was at uh, Concord, California. So that was a, a, it was a pretty good sized city at the time. <laughs> Nothing like it is today. Um, and then we moved to the 
suburbs. Yeah, because it, it had neighborhoods. So I say suburbs. So that was more two years in the city. So then the rest of my years of schooling, I was uh, in the suburbs. Uh-oh, I lost my questions. Oh, darn it. Hang on, let me get back in. Okay. Roller skating or bike riding? Um, both. Um, but the majority, of the main thing was bike riding. Bike riding was my mode of transportation. I could get anywhere on a bike and I rode down to the store, I rode to the mall, I rode to friend's house, I went everywhere on my bike. I had a, a nice bike. Dad, um, <laughs> my bike's name was Pete. I remember that. I named my bike Pete. My dad built me a really nice 10 speed bicycle, um, probably 13, 14 years old. But before that, I had roller skates and a bike, so both. Um, number four, ribbons and curls or climb trees and scrape knees. Definitely climb trees and scrape knees. My suburbs was so wonderful that our backyard was this gigantic park. And I mean, we had a fence yard that had, you know, grass and whatever the landscaping they did, but um, it was on a, a little hill. And if you're sitting on the pad, back patio, you're looking up to these towering, towering eucalyptus trees uh, in the backyard. And then to the right of that was uh, fields and fields of um, trees and pasture land. Uh, there was a farmer back there that had cows. There were trails. There was a creek. I lived out there. Me and my brother lived out there. Oh my gosh. So fun. So fun. Imagination galore. Oh, it was wonderful. Ugh, I wish I was that age again. Books, Barbies, or both? Definitely Barbies. I, w I was the uh, wild one. I didn't sit down and take anything serious. Uh, who wants to read books? I'm going outside. <laughs> and if it's bad outside, raining or whatever, then I was Barbies. I was definitely Barbies. Y'all, I would take everything. I had this, the closet, this, the door slide, I had this sliding door closet. Anyway, I remember taking everything. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I meant to find an old picture of my bedroom back then to show you. I have a picture of where I set up my Barbies so you can see what I did. <laughs> Anyway, it's definitely Barbies. Had a blast with my Barbies. I even conned my little brother into playing Barbies with me. And he'd bring, he would bring uh, G.I. Joe, Tonto, and actually it was General Custard's. Yeah, wasn't G.I. Joe. It was General Custard. Wasn't G.I. Joe. I don't remember G.I. Joe. It was General Custard and, and Tonto and couple horses and he would come play with me yeah all right candy store or ice cream shop candy store now it'd be the ice cream shop and candy store or shoot <laughs> both the reason I say candy store is like I said I rode my bike everywhere and it was it was pretty good ways I had to ride from my house to the interstate which was through several neighborhoods. I don't know how far it is. I, I, I don't know. But I remember the gas station. I got I'm closing my eyes, so I'm, I'm riding my bike. Okay, so, it, and we lit, this is hill country. So you talk about in shape and strong. Let me tell you, we were tough. We were tough people back then. <laughs> I was very athletic, very strong. Uh, rode my bike. Yeah, strong legs. Um, but there was a gas station that had so much candy. Oh my goodness. I would take a ride down there. Um, my brother couldn't come with me until he got older because, you know, it was a long ways and he was, he's nearly five years younger than I am and so he couldn't come and I would ask him, okay, what kind of candy do you want me to bring you back? So, yeah, I'll remember Zot's. 
I remember buying these long string of zots, watermelon, watermelon zots. I do remember watermelon zots. And then I'd ask mama what she wanted. Now, y'all remember those um, uh, Jolly Rancher sticks, the real thin, thin candy sticks. And my mom loved green apple. I think it was green apple and cinnamon. I'd always get the cinnamon and the green apple uh, hard candy sticks. Y'all remember? I mean, we used to buy them by the handfuls. <laughs> but I would have Zots was very common. Pop Rocks. Oh, my brother always wanted Pop Rocks. Um, Mom wanted the sticks. I don't think Dad was around to ask if he wanted candy. I don't remember getting him candy. What did he want? I don't remember getting him candy. I don't remember. But that's all I can think of at the moment. That and um, sweet tarts. I loved sweet tarts. I've loved, I still love sweet tarts. I've always eaten sweet tarts. What, baby? Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Running out of time. Hi, baby. What's he doing? He's so right here. I can open the door. You want to come in? You can come in. It's all right. She's got this really sad, pitiful look. It's all right. Hi, honey. You just got up to get it. She just got up to get a drink. Oh. Hi, precious. Hi, my precious. I really have to keep this blocked off because I took the um, barriers out from under my bed, and if she gets under there, she's going to get stuck. That's the reason I don't want her over here beside the bed. Anyway, let's hurry up. Okay, Marsha, Jan, or Cindy? I'm Marsha. Okay, school days, private, public, or parochial? Okay, so I went to public school nearly my entire time. Y'all, I did not like school. Didn't like school. Um, I was bullied in school. I was little, um, skinny and short. So I was little. I did get picked on a lot, and I remember being picked on in school from third grade until I got out of school. So, I hated school. I mean, I liked my classes, but I hated having to go to school. I hated riding the school bus. Hated it. So, um, I think it was, I think, nine, ten. I can't remember, but I think it was just ninth and 10th grade that my grandma sent me to a Baptist high school. There was a Baptist high school, so I went ninth and 10th grade, and that was okay, except it was really, really hard. <laughs> and if you just start out in a private school in high school, uh, I guess I was behind, but hard, I tell you, I put up with it for two years, and it was like, okay, I can't take this. I mean, it, all I ever did was, and maybe that's what you're supposed to do, I don't know, but uh, totally no extracurriculars, and see, I was so used to spending time with my dad on the weekends, and camping, and riding my bike, and just playing with friends and stuff, well... <laughs> When I ended up in private school, all I did was wake up, study, take a shower, no, no, wake up, take a shower, study, um, run down for breakfast, run outside for a carpool, had a carpool, um, get out, get back home from school, study until supper time, ate supper, studied some more, took a shower and went to bed. And I did that for two years. And I still only got B's and C's. And I said, forget this. I'm working this hard and this is as good as I can get. I, I don't want to go here anymore. So I begged to get out. I shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. They should have just made me stick it out. Because, yeah, you get into high school. Mm. That's when I learned to do things. <laughs> oh, well, to me now, it's like, golly, why would, why would I do that? Anyway, so uh, mostly, mostly public school. Did I cut and skip classes or teacher's bed? 
Um, I only cut and skipped class in, I think my senior year. I don't think, let's see, let me think, let me go back. Um, no, no, just, just senior year. <laughs> and why bother? I mean, I only had half a day. I worked the other half. We had the work program. So uh, I just went to school half a day and then went to work. I don't know. Okay, number 10. Were your favorite memories between the ages of 1 and 10 or 11 and 20? Well, since I can't remember before 7 years old, I'm going to say 7 to 13. 7 to 13 were the most amazing days. If I could go back and just live 7 to 13 years old for the rest of my life, that's what I would like to do. Those were the funnest years. Yes, the funnest. I was daddy's girl. We always went camping and uh, up to the mountains. We were in a bike bicycle club together. We rode many, many miles on our bikes. Um, my dad used to ride his bicycle back and forth to work uh, for several years. And it started out because we could only afford one vehicle and mama had to keep that. Uh, but he liked it. I mean, even when he got a car, he, I, I, yeah, because it wasn't long he got a car. Yeah, because I remember, <laughs> I remember him teaching me how, oh gosh, he was teaching me how to drive. And back then in school, you got free driving classes. Why that little girl went back to sleep? If you're not playing with her, she's just sitting over there and sleeps. Huh. I could have been sleeping all this time. Oh, great. What time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. Holy cow. What was I saying? Oh, for Pete's sakes. I almost remembered. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I, 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 poof. Sorry. Poof. I can't hear you. Huh? It doesn't come through. It's too static. Can't hear you. Somebody telling me what I said and I forgot. Uh, camping up in the mountains. Okay. I think the funnest thing, though, I don't remember what it was. Is something else? But um. All I, the main, <laughs> one of the great big things I remember at those ages and living in California, it was perfect. California is beautiful. Oh my gosh. We had mountains. We had the ocean. We had the weather. We had the scenery. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Gorgeous. 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 And now they've ruined it. They've ruined it. The many places that we used to go and sightsee that I have pictures of, even with my grandma and my aunt who lived in Fort Worth, Texas, they would come to California and we'd take them to these drives. Those drives have been shut down because of damage and graffiti and just destruction from people. Ruined it. Sickening. Makes me sick because, oh. I, I wish I could smell it. I wish I could just smell the trees and the foliage and the dirt and the temperatures or not like it is here. <laughs> uh, I mean, I remember it getting hot, but nothing like it is here ever. And I got here in the South in 81. So I've been here a long time. So, um, oh, favorite memories between the ages. Oh, favorite memories. Favorite memories between the ages. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that got confusing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, but anyway, 
the most exciting thing was Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm. My grandmother lived um, just a few blocks from Disneyland and she had so many friends that worked there. So every summer that we lived in California, we would go to grandma's in the summer to go to Disneyland. So we had a free place to stay at my grandma's. We had free tickets to everything you can think of from all her friends. So uh, all it would cost us was in, you know, entrance into the park. That was it. We always had, we had those little ticket books. Uh, I don't know if they still do that, but they were little ticket books, little coupon books that you would tear the tickets out. And one of the, the best, my, my most favorite ride was, um, I don't know if this is boring to y'all. Let me get a drink here. Hold on. My most favorite, um, ride was, um, It's a Small World. And, um, I think if I had a wish, that's what I would like to do. I would like to go back to Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm, and I would like to go on the It's a Small World ride and Knott's Berry Farm to get a pair of moccasins, because every year I would, my grandmother would buy me a new pair of moccasins at Knott's Berry Farm. And I'd get the the, uh, the goldeny, caramely colored ones that were up on your ankle and had the little fringe. Yep, had a pair. Seems like I've had wore moccasins all my life. And Mama always got a pair too. Uh, I can't remember if my brother did or not. Um, but Knott's Berry Farm also had uh, a bird bird show. I don't want to say sanctuary. It's a bird show. I loved that bird show. They had these trained birds that could ride bicycles on on high wires and talking birds and birds that flew over your heads. And it was so colorful. Um, just the, the decor of the show was um, amazing. I mean, you just walk in, <gasps> your mouth open. It's just, oh, they <laughs> they could decorate. It was beautiful, beautiful. And being in the 70s, I guess, um, I don't know when it opened, but, and I have no idea what condition it's in today, but it was an amazing place. That and the uh, monorail and that thing, that ride that you get uh, was on wires and it had the little bucket on it and it had seats on both sides and it would take you through the park and you could see all around the park. Yeah, I liked that. That would be really fun to do. But that's about all I can handle, I'm sure. My favorite ride was, uh, like I told you, uh, it's a small world. And what was the name of that ride? Did you go, uh, it's a roller coaster type thing and it's inside of a mountain. Oh. And it go clack, 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 clack. I remember that. Clack, 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 clack. And it kind of jerk you side to side. And it go around and it had, oh, the decor inside is just totally amazing. Oh my gosh, I haven't been I haven't been to Disneyland since, uh, 1970, dang, I'm old. <laughs> I haven't been to Disneyland since 1974, I believe. Yeah, 1974. Golly, that was a long time ago. And I haven't been to Disney World or Epcot Center or none of that. That just seems so big. It's like if you don't have a week to spend to be able to see everything comfortably without rushing around and wearing yourself out, you just don't you just don't see everything. So yeah, you'd need a week to to live there for a week so that you could go see everything. 
I don't want to be gone for, oh yeah, I don't want to do that. Anyway, so there you go. Oh my gosh, 40 minutes. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Sharon. I hope you like seeing my little Chester. My little Chester. I picked Chester because of Charlie. Ch -ch Chester to Ch -ch Charlie. And I guess uh, next I could bring on Charlie, who is the silicone. Luan. D -d -d little brother charlie it's just so funny y'all remember what what um how i came up with the name charlie that little smirk is just something else <laughs> yes that little smirk is something else mm -hmm. what did you do did you poo poo in your diaper <laughs> okay i'm gonna let you go 40 minutes well if you stuck with me wow thanks that's great it does mean a lot. Leave me a comment. That just, um, like everybody else, it's really not worth having a channel when you don't get comments. You know, it's like, well, why bother? I mean, I want to do, I want to connect with you, you know, make friends with you because otherwise I don't care. I'm not here for, oh, let me see how many subscribers I can get. You know, that's not what it's all about to me. I want to connect with you. I want to, you know, be able to converse with as many as possible. Um, it's probably a lot to ask to <laughs> be able to answer, you know, 2,000 people. But, you know, hey, I give it a shot. <laughs> but it feels like, you know, you enjoyed the video and that's what keeps you making them. Otherwise, it's like, eh, uh, I'm not going to make one. <laughs> so it's the comments that are that are really something and of course when you do the thumbs up that's what you know lets everybody make sure that they don't miss it and can come visit too and yeah in case you know they don't get notified or something when, uh, some I guess I don't know I don't know I don't care how it works they just say if they hit the thumbs up button it it puts it up there to make sure, you know, those that, you know, regularly watch you can see, oh shoot, she's got a new video out, you know, oh, I forgot, let me go back over there, so anyway, just a thought, <laughs> okay, I'm going now, two minutes later, <laughs> okay, uh, well, have a good night, hope you sleep well, um, take care of yourselves, I love you guys, and I will see you on the next video, bye.